Hey floor cleaners, it's John here and in this video I'm going to be talking about why your customer experience is actually a reflection of your employee experience and how to fix it. If you've never heard of me before, my name is John Williams and I run a company called AGB or Ad to Grow Business. We specialize in one industry and one industry only, the floor cleaning industry, and we specialize in one thing only, getting floor cleaning businesses like yours booked out with jobs on autopilot using our specialist digital marketing system and I'm on a personal journey to try and help as many floor cleaning business owners as humanly possible not just survive but thrive whether that's through working with us on a one-on-one -on -one basis inside our program or through this YouTube channel so without further ado let's dive right in why customer experience is a reflection of employee experience. It goes without saying that delivering an outstanding customer experience is probably one of the major goals of your floor cleaning business, just as it is with any business. However, there is one thing that is quite often overlooked and one of the key factors that actually contributes to customer experience and that thing is employee experience. And obviously, if your employees are unhappy that's going to show, right? Customers are going to feel and experience that when they're in the home. If your employees feel underpaid, if they feel underappreciated, etc., then ultimately that is going to come across, that vibe, that energy, that's going to come across when they're in the, your customers' homes. And of course, that's going to affect the experience that the customer has of working with your floor cleaning business. So it's really, really important that your employees are happy and that they are having a great experience of being employed by and working for your company, it's really important that you've got that piece of the puzzle in place to ensure that you're able to deliver a fantastic customer experience on the back end. So what is employee experience? Let's dive a little bit more into this now. Employee experience is how an employee feels working at your company throughout their entire employment time. Employee experience is closely related to employee engagement. Employee engagement is the emotional commitment an employee has towards the organization that it's working for and its goals. It's the energy and the effort employees put into their work. At the most basic level, employee experience and employee engagement is that the experience is the input while the engagement is the outcome. That means that employee engagement is the result of a positive employee experience. Basically, if your employees are having a great experience of working for your floor cleaning business, then that is going to increase the amount of engagement that the employee has with your business. Undoubtedly, happier employees are clearly associated with companies' ability to satisfy customers. That is particularly true in service-based industries like floor cleaning companies like yours, where there is close contact between employees and customers. As I just said, if you've got an unhappy employee, it's going to show when they're in the customer's home. There are a few ways to keep employee experience in check and make sure that your employees are having a great experience working for your business. Asking employees what's missing is a brilliant way to improve employee experience. Find out what's most important to your workforce by encouraging real-time feedback and embracing regular surveys. So, you know, send out to your employees, have them fill in employee satisfaction surveys, allow them to fill that in. If you've got a large workforce, you can even get them to do it anonymously per se, just get a general feel for how happy your employees are in the workspace. And then from this feedback, you're going to understand the solutions that your employees require and you can work on actually implementing them in the workplace. If you prefer a more informal approach, you can ask for feedback or discuss ideas about how work conditions can be improved over a cup of coffee, over a casual meeting, something like that. But ultimately, acting on those suggestions will show your staff that you value their opinion 
decisions, and that most importantly, you care. Set meaningful goals. Setting meaningful goals for the company, such as winning a carpet cleaning company of choice 2022 award or achieving a five-star Google review status can increase the engagement and motivation across employees while making them valuable assets to your organization at the same time. The goals of the company will immediately make them feel part of the team in which each makes a difference. And you can even incentivize this by saying, you know, for every five-star Google reviews we get, you're going to get X, whatever that is. And then that's going to give them the incentive to, you know, really try hard to really go that extra mile with your customers and then with you and with the business. A psychological environment check is an extremely important part of employee experience that every boss should be responsible for. Very often, service-based businesses such as floor cleaning businesses is not only a physically, but also it's an emotionally consuming job. Quite often, floor cleaning employees have to work under time pressure. You know, if you've got five or six jobs that day, you need to get in and out of that house, get the job done, but do it well. That's a lot of pressure on someone's shoulders. Sometimes co-workers don't get along. Sometimes there's work politics. Other times the customers can be very demanding or rude. They can really test the nettle of your employees. You might need to be very thick skinned and be very good at handling different difficult customers. And often that can get under the skin of your employees. It could be family or health issues that affects employees' mood and of course the quality of their work. As a boss, it's your task and responsibility to clock if any of your employees look stressed or unhappy and sense the tension between work colleagues. Find out what's going on, dig into it and do your best to resolve this work issue or show the support in actually fixing it in case it's a problem from outside. So psychological environment check. Be aware and understand Understand that your employees are going to be under a lot of pressure from a lot of external forces, be it your customers, be it stuff in their personal life. Keep your eye out for that. If the job's starting to get them down a little bit, take them to one side, show that you care, show that you support them, and hopefully you can move things in the right direction. The importance of knowing and caring after your employees. Nothing builds trust, and we just touched on this in the other slides. Nothing boosts motivation to work and contributes to positive experience than working for a company in the knowledge that your boss and the team really care about you. A happy working environment is the place where people know about each other, about each other's family, interests, hobbies, a place where employees' birthdays are celebrated, important company milestones are celebrated, traditions are set, and support is offered in the moments of hardship. If you can make your company feel like a family, then you'll have employees for life. Remember your employees' birthday. Day. Take them out for a dinner, give them a birthday card or a little birthday bonus, you know, look after them at Christmas. Remember what their wife's name's called. Remember what their children are called. Ask them how the children are doing. Take time out of your day to show that you listen and that you care. And if you do that and you build that family environment, like I said, you are going to have employees for life. The value, let's touch now on the value of parting ways with employees on good terms. Of course, nothing lasts forever and there will come a day where maybe an employee moves on and you do receive notice of resignation. There could be multiple reasons why that's happened. It could be that they're not unhappy with working in your company, but maybe they've received simply an offer that they can't refuse and you can't match. It could be that they're moving to a different town or relocating. It could be that they've decided to pursue a different career. There are so many reasons why people leave. Sometimes though people, you know, leave because they are unhappy with how things have gone working for you. Regardless of the situation, it's really important that you basically try to part ways on good terms so there's no hard feelings and everybody's happy to start a new chapter of their career. But there are times when things might turn nasty, your long-lasting employee might drop you for a competitor or the person you fired is threatening with an unfair dismissal case. Parting ways with your employees is also ultimately the last part of your employee experience of working for you and therefore it's very important 
important to make this process as smooth and positive as possible. It's highly likely your former employee might carry on working in the floor cleaning industry. The last thing you want is someone to badmouth you or share the secrets of your company with a competitor. So again, make sure you've got the systems and processes in place to offboard an employee if they're leaving the company as smoothly and as happily as possible. It's really important as well, I think, to leave your emotions at the door and really function as a business owner in these cases. You could be quite offended by it. You could end up taking it really personally and then that's when things can turn nasty. Try to compartmentalize your emotions. Try to see it from their point of view and approach it as a business owner and understand that in any company, employees move on for a multitude of reasons. Support them in their decision. Help them to complete their employment with you in a friendly and as happy way as possible. And you know what will happen is that people will move on from your company having had a really positive experience and having had a really positive experience of working with your company. Do you know what I mean? And no one will have a bad taste in their mouth and nobody will have a bad thing to say about you. Yeah, I worked for XY Steamers. I left them because I got an offer at a big corporate carpet cleaning company and it's like got loads more benefits. Unfortunately, these guys are a small family business and they can't offer the same compensation, but they're a great company to work for. I haven't got a bad thing to say about them. We're parting ways on great terms. That's how you want things to go. Final thoughts. Whether a customer receives a positive or negative experience with your business, it's almost always going to be perceived on the quality of the interaction and the experience they had with one of your employees. And therefore, creating a positive, happy environment where employees feel respected and valued is the key to a five-star customer service experience. And success in your company in general. As Richard Branson pointed out, it should go without saying that if employees are 100% proud of the job they are doing, if you give them the right tools, if they're treated well, they are going to be smiling. They're going to be happy and therefore the customer will have a positive experience. On the other hand, if employees are not looked after and not appreciated, they are not going to do things with a smile and the customer will be treated in a way where they don't want to come back to you for more. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button down below so that you get notified when the next video comes out. And if you'd like to find out a little bit more about working with us on a one-on-one -on -one basis inside our program, head down to the description below where you'll find all the details to schedule a call. See you on the next one, guys. Cheers.